This shop is in violation of safety code, risk of drowning in the event of a faulty conduit, risk of flooding district in case of creeper explosion. Well, <laughs> did he go all the way around? Oh my gosh, so much concrete. Oh, well, I mean, thank you for the materials, but oh man, oh, oh, Prowl. So yes, Prowl, Prowl did this, guys. Prowl did this to us. He covered up our beautiful Squidward head guy, and he claims we have a faulty conduit, which is absolutely not true. I only use the top of the line products for any of my shops and builds, there's nothing faulty about that thing. Nothing whatsoever. It is amazing. Oh, Prowl. <laughs> and now I have to tear all of this down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, Prowl. So this is Prowl's, this is Prowl's little shop here, right? <clears throat> Still claimed by Prowl. This is completely abandoned. Like, he has these poor sheep in here, which, by the way, you know, run for your life, sheep. Run for your lives. Yeah go okay maybe not <laughs> we'll get these guys out of here look at this he has them locked in here no way to actually reach the grass so they're like starving yeah this is complete animal cruelty complete animal cruelty and then he has like these bogus signs about pesky pebble people persons i don't know <laughs> this place is abandoned and with that being said i hereby condemn this place <laughs> We have tons of debris, and it is looking nasty over here. So, um, let's go ahead and grab all of our yellow concrete. I think we may need more than this. I'm not too positive. Um, and I did have an idea for the observer blocks, which I don't think I'm going to use anymore. All right, so let's do this. There we go. Hopefully, this is not too huge in scale, I hope. Anyway, we'll see. Um, I think we should do at least... Yeah, three wide. I don't do five wide. That's just way too, that's way too big for this little bitty shopping district. How's that? <laughs> that looks a little, that looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. Oh wait, I need to bring it out a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. And then, ooh, you know what you think might look good in here is those observer blocks that I, I wasn't, or I was going to use and I decided not to. <gasps> Actually, these might go perfect inside here instead of yellow. Let's see. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. There we go. It looks a little bit more like mechanical, I guess. Okay, let's uh, go here, here, and here. Oh, that's <laughs> glass. Let's try that again. We'll use carpet. Alright, put that under there. Okay, cool. Yeah, this looks so much better. Alright, so we can bring the back up right here a little bit. Bring it up about that high. All right, I think we're kind of getting there. <laughs> we'll have to have, add some more detail. I can't let this go just like that. Um, I do want to make a couple of black banners. I have a an idea for that. Um, and what else was I making? Oh yeah, glass, glass. Okay, uh, glass panes. Okay, so I've been building and kind of working on this thing for a little bit, and I think I finally came up with. Whoa, <laughs> I think I finally came up with a better um, a, a solution here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use full blocks for glass here. Actually, um, let's go panes all the way around here. Okay, cool. So we'll go like that. Just going to come out to here. And we can leave that open, I guess. Um, anyways, we're going to top it off with the black carpet. And I think we'll finally be done here. Oh, I gotta put some string here or something. Do I have string? Oh, I do. Cool. So let's go ahead and put this like here and here. All right, cool. All right, got the black carpet on there, and let's just take a look. Um, <laughs> such a crazy looking little bulldozer here. Um, we can bring this out a little bit. Oh, not that. This. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> there we go. Bring that out. You know what? I think, I don't think it's going to get any better than this. I don't think, honestly, <laughs> it's going to look any better. Uh, we could do that like so. 
texture bars make everything look better. That and like throwing signs and trap doors everywhere. Like, what's the purpose of it? We don't know. They just, it just looks good, you know? <laughs> uh, we could put this here. Yeah, there we go. And then up front, we could do like, um, if I can get up here, let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, let put these up front. Oh yeah, and I put banners right here. I wanted them to look like, uh, like maybe like at the, what's that called? Like the radiator or something, you know? Um, oh yeah, let's remove the, we'll put the sign there instead. I kind of like that better. Cool. And then in the back, definitely put some across. I'm just finishing up the signs here and I think they're perfect. So <laughs> here we go. Public notice of demolition. Condemned. This building is unfit for uh, animal habitation. Abandoned and declared unsafe. So <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good. So good. I'm so happy that I know how to make um, colored signs now. Guys, I told you I was going to like overkill. But all right, guys, we're done with this. Yeah, we're done. We're done. I think Prowl is going to get a taste of his own medicine uh, or whoever inhabits this place. But yeah, it's it's going to be demoed. <laughs> okay, so with all those shenanigans out of the way, <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and do I have any cooked food? Oh, good. I have some fish here. All right. So we're back over here at the base and it is time to actually get to work on some of the uh, some of the terrain around here. So what I want to do today and um, it's going to be pretty laid back stuff today we're not going to be building any more houses today uh, unless we have some time but what i want to do is i want to go ahead and start removing some of this grass and replacing it with actual stone so i should have enough stone here to get started um i'm going to put my ender chest down and um i may even have some stuff here yeah see look at this i have so much materials the one thing that i do need is a stone cutter which i should have in my junk here um I think I do actually I saw one earlier yes I do all right yeah my inventory is getting a little bit crazy <laughs> it's getting a little bit out of control um so I'm just place that right there for now and I'm gonna go ahead and turn as much of this into um slabs as possible I feel slabs are a little bit easier to work with um and also is a little less resource consuming um being as I mean I do have plenty of cobblestone um my pickaxe is kind of dying though that's the only thing i'm kind of worried about um let's see do i have in my toolbox do i have just a kind of a poopy little axe i could use oh i could use this one yeah we'll, we'll hang on to this one we'll put this one away we'll put this one away um just until we can actually i'll keep this on me in case but uh, just until we can go ahead and mend that up um, all right, so it is now time to go ahead and start removing some of this grass. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that off camera, uh, and then we'll come back together. Um, I may actually end up removing this as well, kind of flattening this out, uh, because there'll be more houses being built this way. But yeah, I, I definitely want to flatten this part out. Um, but for the most part, we're going to go ahead and try and keep to the terrain. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've pretty much flattened this part over here out, and I've also removed some of the caves. As you can see, I've been covering a lot of them up, um, and it looks a lot better. I mean, there is a lot of terraforming to do, but all those caves are pretty much gone. Um, but, I mean, it's not until we get over, like, on this side over here, you can actually see all of the other caves that need to be covered up, but that's going to be in due time. Uh, just a little bit at a time, I think, we're going to get going. Um, but what I want to do today... Uh, for certain is I want to definitely connect this uh, going through here how you're able to step down we're gonna make a couple of stair uh, like staircases here I do want to do uh, a couple of maybe flower farms or like a little field of flowers even maybe like some wheat fields just a small one um, but we'll implement that make some really nice crop farms um, but it's gonna be looking all good and stuff and let me go ahead and sleep real quick i thought that was a creeper but it's actually just a bush Ooh, okay um anyways yep yeah, uh so we're gonna do that pretty much today um i did say if we had a little bit of time we would build a house but i guess we'll just kind of play it by ear and if we don't have enough time we could definitely do that um 
uh, next episode because you know we got all the time in the world um, but for now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm, like I said I want to go off of the terrain I definitely want to um, yeah I want to go off of the terrain for the most part and dude you're gonna be in my way do you have any good traits since you're here oh well green dye for an emerald hmm I could use that for my shop uh, Besides the die, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm. I'm good. I think I'm good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start bringing in. Actually, let me get all these here. Should I make a little bit of andesite as well? I don't have a lot of andesite. I don't think. Just a little bit there. Oh look, I have some slabs right there. Perfect. Um. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of everything. All right. Uh, let's put those there. Let me go and grab that. All right. Cool. So, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm, let's see here, let's go like so, alright, and we're just going to make a nice little step, uh, I guess like a step here, and I see Tiz Tom's online, <laughs> he's going to see the shop, good, good, um, serves them right with all their shenanigans, let's see here, uh, let's do like that, and there we go. All right, so we're going to work that part in first because this is for certain going to be going up. So we're going to keep this part in. Like I said, I was just trying to do like uh, a little bit at a time because I know for sure, like I'm not going to put anything here because this is not going to stay that way. But I know that I do want to keep this like this. So that's why this is staying this way. Or this is why I'm going to go ahead and work this part in. Um, let's see. Let's go like that and bring this here I do want to bring a little bit of stairs in too to kind of change it up um, I should have some in here oh I do cool let's go ahead and turn some of this into into stairs yeah let's do it um, let's make a bunch of stone stairs then we can make some stone brick stairs and cobble stairs there we go what are we missing we are missing andesite stairs but that's cool that is just fine all right, so let's uh, let's replace some of these right there, right here as well. And with the stone brick, because I feel like stone brick is kind of a more of a refined kind of a block. Um, I'm not gonna put as much. I'll put like maybe like bits just every so often. And I say that, but look what I put over here. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep that one there, but we'll do like andesite and cobblestone. There we go. More cobblestone. A little bit of a uh, smooth stone. All right, so that looks good. So I think it'd be easier if I just kind of clear this out first, um, and then like right here, I'll leave some grass kind of going around the house, um, like on those bits. Okay, and I think every side will be different. There we go. Now right here, we're gonna have um, a bit of a retaining wall eventually. Um, or maybe, I don't know, something else where I just, I haven't really, um, brainstormed on that too much. So once I figure it out, we'll, we'll work on the wall. But for the meantime, we'll just kind of ignore it. <laughs> we'll ignore it for now until I think of something really cool that we could, uh, we could put there. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to work on this ground work a little bit, get at least this layer and then this layer filled in. I'll come back to you at this because there are, like I said, we're going to do a couple of crop farms and I'm thinking there needs to be somewhat, I think there may be, hmm, I'm thinking like right here would be a good place for a crop farm since we have the wheat already there, like the, or the hay bales, we could have like a little wheat farm right here. So right when you come from the tunnel, you can see right away there's some wheat, then you have to walk around it. Hmm, that might actually look pretty good. So, yeah, we'll remove these slabs. Anyways, I'm going to get to work, uh, and then I'll be back with you guys for more of a progress update. All right, so I'm coming up on the last bit here for, like, the walkway that we're going to do today. I think we're going to be, we're not going to have enough time, but I do want to finish that little bit of a crop field. Now, I did say I wanted, to, I wanted to do wheat. We could bring in a little bit of like carrots and potatoes and stuff um but I'm not too sure just yet I guess we'll figure that out um well you know I think it would be smarter just to go with just plain oak wood I keep hearing walking around me it's that little llama over there I knew it um do I have any more smooth stone slabs I do yep there we go 
All right, uh, just a little bit here. Just this is about as much terraforming as I'm gonna do today. It really didn't take too long. It was just I spent so much time <laughs> at the shopping district messing around with the shenanigans of a bulldozer, which I think is gonna be great. <laughs> um, also, what I uh, decided as well. Because I did say I was going to leave a little bit of grass around the, the houses. Well, I decided to go ahead and just fill it in with uh, with the actual walkway. And uh, we can... Like, I, let, I did leave, like, some patches of grass here and there. But um, I think I want to go ahead just to, I guess, pave it all the way through and through. So it just looks better. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Th was I bringing stone brick over here? I don't think I... I didn't use a whole lot of stone brick, did I? Let's use a little bit more of that over here as well. There's like a lot of cobblestone and all the other stuff going on. Maybe over here. There we go. All right, so what I want to do now is we're going to go ahead and make a barrier. Now, this is a barrier you probably have seen before, but we're going to go ahead and, of course, uh, actually, I need some more stone brick. You know, it would be kind of cool to hide just a bit of wood in there, too. Hmm, let's grab our logs out of here. We could actually do that. Hmm. Do I have any oak? Oh, I do have oak. Oak wood could look good, you know? If I do something like, let's say, let's go like that. Bring that up. Um, let's bring this up right here. I can go there. This can go there. So just different heights. Different height variations. And then we can go like right here. There we go. And then we can put one over here as well. Just a short one. Okay, so now what I want to do is we could do like a, a little wall around it. Actually, we're going to bring that up just a little bit. Actually, I think we could just do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then we can put a little bit of this in there. That's going to go here. I do need this. Uh, actually, andesite could look good right there. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. <laughs> uh, and then they go ahead and bring this stuff up here. Now, this fence is not going to be completely mob-proof. So that's not, the, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to just make sure it's gonna keep the mobs out because it's really not a big deal for me if they if they do get through um, it really isn't I'm gonna top these off with the cobblestone um, it's just really for for the looks you know just make it look good it's all about that um, let's see let's bring this up there we go and let's do this and there we go. All right, so brought that up right there. That's all looking pretty good, I think. Pretty good. I really want to just <laughs> turn. I want to strip this into uh, the stripped logs, but I think it might look weird. So I think we're, we're going to go with the regular old oak look. I think that looks okay. Let's try stair. There we are. And then this, I kind of want to turn into cobblestone. So, like I said, it's not 100% mob proof, but I think it will do, like, it'll do it some justice. Like, it'll actually help a little bit. Well, that one was easy to jump over. Maybe if we go bring this down here, that can be a wall. That can be a wall. All right. So, so far, we have this nice little area for planting our uh, our wheat at. Um, over here. Oh, yeah. we got to finish this wall up. Let's, uh... So let's turn this all, well, I guess I didn't have to <laughs> bring it down all that much, but let's just, let's just do that. So we can put the wheat all the way up here. I think it'll look nice. Uh, and then we'll remove this, turn that into cobblestone. Okay, so to get started, <laughs> sorry little chickens, I have to, I have to clear this place up here. Sorry. Um. All right, so bone mill. So I, I do want to add a few spots. I'm not going to till every part of the place. Um, okay, so first things first. Let's see. Let's put a little bit of... No, not water there. Um, let's throw some dirt underneath here. There we go. All right, so now we can go ahead and till 
this area but I don't want to till all of it I do want to leave some spots open so I can just put regular grass in I think putting in regular grass looks pretty good also um, let's go like so and there we go grab our seeds and so I might need just a little bit more bone meal. I thought I had enough bone meal, but that should be good. All right, so our farm's looking pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to bone meal it down here. Let's see. Till that. And I'm back. Oh, I forgot to grab water. <laughs> I was like, the one thing I really, truly needed, and that was water, indeed. Uh, let's grab it from there. Can we? Ah! There we go. <laughs> hey, I did a good job. I'm trying to learn how to, like, elytra just from the one jump elytra straight up. It's, it's difficult. It's quite difficult. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put water... Actually, I should probably, probably put water, like, here to hydrate that tilled land and then where's my yeah there we go all right cool so let's go ahead and plant these that should be good right should reach i think <laughs> i hope um and then right there cool i think we're good hopefully now if, i think if i bone mill it it should be fine especially if the water doesn't reach it it'll already be fully grown so it won't break um, let's see. Oh, seeds, 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 seeds. Wow, I went through a lot of seeds. That's pretty good, though. I knew they were going to come in handy. I just have seeds sitting around half the time. <gasps> I don't know what to do with them. I don't ever want to throw them away. So I just never know when I need them. Okay, so let's bring that up. There we go. All right. So now just bone milling the rest of this area. And this looks pretty good. It really does. Um, I do need to get some lighting in here. So we could do like a... Well, not a scarecrow. But we could put like some... Um, some kind of a lantern in the center of it all. I don't know. Let's see. I, I do like making scarecrows though. Don't get me wrong. But I have to feel like the space is a little too small. So I should have another junk box. I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Junk three. How many junks do I have? Oh, there's my lanterns. Okay, great. Uh, why are those in there? Oh, tor torches. It's like Christmas in here. There's so much things I need. Um, let's grab... I think this is the one with my fences and stuff. No, that's planks. Okay, uh, let me sleep real quick. Alright, cool. So now we can go ahead and make some lanterns. Now, as for the actual lanterns for the streets... Um, I'd like to come up with something a little clever, something nice, and I'm not too sure which one I want to, what I want to do yet. There's just so many different ones you can make. Um, and I think I'm going to put the lantern. Oh, wait, I messed up already. <laughs> I need to put the cobblestone down first. Yeah, we'll do cobblestone, then we'll do this. What's the, what's the easier way to do this? Can I just jump? And... Oh, yes, cool, cool, cool. So can I get over here without trampling? Oh, I almost trampled that. Um, let's go like this. And then go like this. And then we can put the lanterns. That's not a lantern. There you go. Just something simple like that, right? Okay, so I think we're officially done for the day. For the day, guys. But if we do a little flyover... Ooh, that looks cool. Um... Oh, we need, we need some slow falling potion. I swear I need it. <laughs> I have membranes, but um, I'm I'm saving those for uh, for a rainy day. But I guess we for now we can come up here and take a little peek. But um, wow, we really didn't get a lot done today. <laughs> oh man, oh this takes more time than you would possibly you would think, guys. Honestly, it really does. It takes a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> but I think we're like I said, we'll we'll get I'll get some stuff done. I think I'm gonna do some in between camera work. Um because there's like just, just so much to cover and it's really gonna take some time. Also, I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bit right here and then kind of have a 
a simple staircase coming down. But then this side over here will be lower, if that makes any sense. I don't know how to explain it. But, well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll work on that. I'll work on those details later on. And then with the next episode, I'll show you guys some progress on that. But I'm pretty happy with our little, uh, our little area here for our wheat farm. You know, I thought it was a nice little touch I wanted to to utilize and I want to make a bunch of little crop farms around here even like not even crop farms we can just have like uh, <clears throat> like possibly different merchants you know maybe some of these you know some of these people that live here they sell certain things or they have things that they have outside their houses that they like you know I don't know plants pottery stuff like that oh that's a great idea pottery oh we could do like some flower pot stuff um, but anyways that's gonna be it for today's episode guys i hope you guys enjoyed today i had a lot of fun uh so many shenanigans especially in the beginning of the episode hopefully you guys enjoyed that it's gonna be a lot of fun and i think i may have opened up a can of worms for myself because <laughs> i guess we'll find out <laughs> next time anyways as always i love you all i'll see you next time 